of the day, we're going to discuss data structures and algorithm. So first, let's define program. So program consists of two things. The first one is algorithm. And the second one is data structure. So we all know that algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure. And data structure is a logical relationship that exists between individual elements of data to carry of certain tasks. Data structures are the programmatic way of storing data so that data can be used efficiently. Organizing data into memory allocation, almost every enterprise application uses various types of data structures in one or other way. Data structures deals with the study of how the data is organized in memory, how effectively the data can be retrieved and manipulated, possible ways in which different data items are logically related. In selecting data structure, we should first analyze the problem, determine the basic operation, select the data structure, which is the best data structure to store data and manipulate the data. We have some characteristics of data structure. The first one is correctness. Data structure implementation should implement its interface correctly. Number two is the time complexity. Running time of execution time of operations of data structure must be as small as possible. The next one is the space complexity. Memory usage of a data structure operation should be a little as possible. Need for data structure. So as applications are getting complex, there are three common problems applications face nowadays. The first one is a data search. As data grows, search will become slower. Number two, processor speed. Processor speed, although being very high, Pulse limited data grows to billion records. Multiple requests, as thousands of users can search data simultaneously on a web server. Even very fast server fails while searching the data. To solve above the problem, data structure come to rescue data can be organized in a data structure in such a way that all items may not be required to be searched and the required data can be searched almost instantly. We have types of data structure. The primitive data structure, sample is integer, load, character, double, and pointer. We have the non-primitive data structure, sample is linear data structure, and the non-linear data structure. When we say linear, it means sequential. Sample is array, list, tax, and keys. Nonlinear means random. Sample trees and graphs. List, sample non list is single, double, circular, linking. The common basic operation of the searching, sorting, insertion, deletion, updating, or addition. Now, array. When we say array, it is a container which can hold fixed number of items, and these items should be of the same type. Most of the data structure make use of array to implement their algorithm following our important terms to understand the concepts of array. Elements. When we say elements, each item stored in an array is called an element. Index. When we say index, each location of an element is an array. Has a numerical index which is used to identify the elements. Advantages of an array. We have similar data types are elements. The random access. Suitable when the number of elements are already known. Implementation stocks and queues. 
the disadvantage in the static memory allocation in compile time size of array. So sample we have array 10. So we have if we have array 10, there is no possible to increase the size if you already put the 10 while it is running. And if you have an array 100, the 10 elements are used, but memory of 90 elements is wasted. That is the disadvantages of an array. The disadvantages in insertion and deletion, if we have a 5 array, the value of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or the elements, when we insert 5 at array 0, it will remove it will remove or insert 5, then we'll put the 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. That is the insertion, disadvantages of an array. While the disadvantages of for the deletion, if we're going to delete 10 at array 0, then the 10 will be deleted and 20 will move 30, 40, and 50. And array 4 and 5 is wasted. We have the array representation. So array can be declared in various way in different languages. For illustration, let's take C array or C array declaration. We have the integer array, array 10. So integer is the type, array is the name, and 10 is the size. So we have here 10 array or the 10 elements with the 35, 32, 33, 42, 10, 14, 19, 27, 44, 26, and 31. So these are the size or the elements in the array 10. So array can be declared in various ways in different languages. So we have the basic operation, we have the traverse, print all the array elements one by one. We have the insertion, add an elements at given index. We have the deletion, when we say deletion, delete an elements at given index. We have the search, search an element using given index or by value. We have the update, update an element at given index. So for example of algorithm, we have the number one start, set j is equal to k, repeat step 4 and 5 where j is greater than n, number 4 set la, j minus 1 is equal to la, j, then 5 set j is equal to j plus 1, set n is equal to n minus 1, and number 7 stop. When compiled in execution, it produces the following results. It will produce the original array elements are LA0 is equals to 1, LA1 is equals to 3, LA2 is equals to 5, LA3 is equals to 7, LA4 equals to 8. Then the array elements after deletion, so we have LA1 is 0 is equals to 1, LA1 is equals to 3, then LA2 is equals to 7, and LA3 is equals to 8. So, credits for this video. We have the data structure by Reynido, data structure by Pranupriya, data structure by Sandip, Zaradi, Kati, and data structure by Onen, Google, and this uh, Jess, Jags. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. I made this because of my students affected by the Taal volcano. So please find time to watch this guys. Thank you for